Let me first give all praise and all honor to the God of my ancestors, the God of Africa, the Almighty, Amen Ra. This is your brother Radio One coming back at you again with another video of truth and historical reality. The name of this video is the Abu Sir Mummy DNA Study is Fraud. Egyptians were black. Yes, the racism and lies still continue to this day. But let us focus on who were the original Egyptians. Let us go to Herodotus book two. And he says in quotes, lastly, by calling the dove black, the Dodonians indicated that the woman was an Egyptian. So we see here, according to Herodotus, the original Egyptians were black. But let us go to the next quote. In Herodotus, and he says in quote, there can be no doubt that the Cochians are an Egyptian race. My own conjectures were founded first on the fact that they are black skin and have woolly hair. Herodotus, book two, chapter 104. Now we see here, according to Herodotus, which is the earliest and most ancient and most accurate physical description of the ancient Egyptians. Now, Egyptian is a Greek word. Okay, it is a Greek word referring to the people of Egypt. And Herodotus was the first to give a physical description of the Egyptians. And according to Herodotus, if you were not black, you were not Egyptian. Because the Egyptians were black. And Egyptian meant black. But let us go to this DNA study posted on nature.com and performed by the Max Planck Institute in Germany. Now we see here on this DNA study, here are the figures for the DNA samples that were present in this DNA study. Okay. Let us look at this and examine this. Now, according to these geneticists, DNA showed that the ancient Egyptians were more related to Middle Easterners than to Sub-Saharan Africans. But as we look on this DNA figure here, okay, we will look at the ancient samples. Where are the ancient African samples to compare them to there are none okay all we see is anatolian iranian levantine and natufian dna samples present no other dna samples are present so no wonder why they say the egyptians were closely related to the middle easterners because the middle eastern samples are the only samples present how are you going to say that they were not Related to the Sub-Saharan Africans when no ancient Sub-Saharan African DNA is present to compare them to. Where are the ancient Sudanese DNA samples? Where are the ancient Ethiopian DNA samples? Where are the ancient Somalian DNA samples? You can't just come to that conclusion without having the ancient African DNA samples available. They're not present. Okay, and we also see here that the ancient Egyptian sample does not have its own category. It is the same as the Natufian samples. It is the same as the Le Le the Levant samples. So we see here there is no Egyptian DNA because it's the same as the others. We see the Anatolian which is all blue, it has its own category. The Iranian, which is mostly green, it has its own category. But there is no Egyptian DNA present. It's all the same as the others. And no ancient African DNA present to compare the Egyptians to. So how are you going to say that this proves that the Egyptians were closer to Middle Easterners than they were to Sub-Saharan Africans when there is no African DNA present to compare it to. This DNA study makes no sense at all. 
And look, when we look at the modern samples, we see Palestinian, Lebanese, Jordanian, and the only sub-Saharan sample available is Yoruba. When were the Yoruba in Egypt? Even the slaves who were brought in Egypt, they came from Sudan. They did not come from Nigeria or Yoruba land. This DNA study is fraud. It is fraudulent as it gets. It makes no sense at all. As we can see here. Okay. Only Middle Eastern DNA samples are present. Where are the African DNA samples? And we know that white racists, they did this over and over again. They even did it with history. They lied about history. They said the ancient Egyptians were Caucasian. And, and truth came out about that, that that was entirely wrong. That has been long been debunked. We found out that the ancient Egyptians were indigenous black Africans according to history. They did the same thing with history. Now they're doing it with DNA. Look at these, look at these DNA samples. They make no sense at all. All of this is made up. Okay, first of all, DNA is not saying anything. All the saying is coming from the modern day geneticists, the modern white German, neo-Nazi German geneticists. That's who's doing all the saying. DNA is not saying anything. No wonder why this study makes no sense. But let us move on to this image that was found in the tomb of Seti the first now we see here on this image you have Middle Easterners Nubians Timahu Libyans and Egyptians and we see here the Egyptians clearly distinguish themselves from the Middle Easterners this is all the truth you need in this image the truth is in this image and this image debunks that entire DNA study and clearly shows that the Egyptians were different from the Middle Easterners. And that DNA study is fraud. It is fraud and it makes no sense. And it needs to be redone and reevaluated. But until then, we are not buying it. Okay? And I'm going to get more in depth into this DNA study in future videos. But until now, yes, this DNA study is fraudulent. It is fraudulent. This is your brother Radio One signing out. Until next time, Egypt stays in Africa. Peace and Amen Ra.